What if you can derail a train and goes down a hill into a yard where a man is sleeping in a hammock and he gets killed? What about them? Is it fair to kill an innocent bystander? And what about privilege? The gender, age, education, race of all the people involved. How does that affect your mind state? And what does that say? Like, what if you can hit all five and they survive and they go to the hospital and they're all on life support and they each require a different organ transplant and then a man walks in with all five available organs? What do you do then? Do you kill him? What if he's homeless? What if he's Gandhi? You want to kill Gandhi? <laughs> Found this weird municipal law that street entertainers in Victoria are not allowed to give balloon animals to kids. My dad, a true conservative, was like, makes sense. <laughs> and since this was the only place to fix things, the brain now had full authority. Like a screen went up in front of the world, my friend came out, I drove to the restaurant, we sat in the booth with the chopsticks, I could see it and it was there, but the emotional understanding of recognizing this place and the people in it as singular and consequential, as real, had vanished, replaced by this total focus to get this right, turn this problem around. I went. Everyone running around about their own miracles intersecting so briefly, it's a matter of choosing meaning in that and coming around to the responsibility of keeping each other company. Because sometimes it's not about being good, it's just about being around.